as well after we think, just got to stress think, that he perhaps thought the last lap through was actually the final lap. Well, here we go, Ian, prediction time. Who's your man? I'm going to go for the man in form, Sivakov. Well, I'll go Hershey then, just to make it interesting between the two of us. Perfect. Where's the, where's the fun in me picking Sivakov as well? Well, you see that little look over the shoulder. Less than a thousand meters to go. A few little cat and mouse games, perhaps, but it's been such a big effort from these two riders. Nearly 200 kilometers of racing, over 2,500 meters of climbing. Coming down to the final 800 meters or so. They don't want to mess around it too much because there's some seriously powerful riders still behind. And they're actually watching Sivakov like a hawk. Sivakov looking down the roads just for the next group. Where are those chasers? Unfortunately, we're probably not going to see much of what happens with the chase group. We'll see them on the line. Hershey takes his turn on, on the front. It's not really taking turns at this stage. It's all about the tactics. And is this the moment Sivakov tries to distance Hershey? Hershey straight back on his wheel. I think, Ian, that was the moment now that uh, Sivakov might have tried to go early. Yeah, he had to try and play it long. He just kind of held off, laid off the wheel ahead of him and uh, tried to rush into the gap and get a little gap on Hershey. But yeah, that doesn't look good in terms of uh, Sivakov winning this one. Hershey covered that one. Looked really quite easy for him as see Sivakov going once again. Well, Sivakov goes and Hershey right back on his wheel. He was taking slightly shorter turns and he's now getting a toe and Sivakov looking over his shoulder. Hershey's got a good sprint on him, but Sivakov can produce some big, big watts when he needs it. And now Hershey just drifting across. It gets a little steeper. Hershey kicks. Sivakov matches him as well. Sivakov hogging those boards on the left-hand side of the road. And Mark Hershey now out in front. You can see the finish line. Sivakov's not got it today. It's going to be Mark Hershey. Team UAE Emirates, who takes the Cobba Sabatini. And it means, Ian, that uh, you're buying the coffees. <laughs> yeah, here's the like... next next group coming through. And it is uh, it's that Pogaccio on the front. He can ride anything, and he's going to come through and take uh, third place. Kind of like we predicted. Yeah, just being able to ride the back of that group for so long, save so much energy, and fed up of seeing that UAE ride across the line ahead of him. Well, a fantastic ride from Mark Hirschi. Coming in in a pretty decent form. That's exactly as we see. Replay. The sprint was already done at this point. Hirschi had gapped uh, Sivakov coming out of that final corner. Almost uncontested in the end. Such was the turn of speed, the kick that Hershey had left over that final 150 metres from that final corner. But yeah, as I was saying, Pogaccio be very pleased with kind of two days' work. And the, the history of this race, the as we see that now. Yeah, a bunch uh, crossing the line. A bit like one of the total energies rider coming in, winning the bunch kick for that 10th place. They had a strong squad on uh, paper, Bergado, second at GP Plouet, not